You are about listening to the Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibu Sochiyare, President OPM Worldwide. On your mind, when you climb up on that hill, for you saw me with eternal eyes, while I Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time and all the time the Lord is good. This is um, Apostle Chibuzo Gift Chiri, the President of OPM Worldwide. I bring good news to you today. Today's deliverance what I titled, I refuse to suffer for the sins of my father. I want to repeat it. I refuse to suffer for the sins of my father. Quickly, I want us to just look at these scriptures. Can we go to 2 Kings chapter 5? 2 Kings chapter 5. I'm going to read from um, 25, verse 25. And he went in and stood before his master. And his guys went in and stood before his master. And Elijah said unto him, Where is Come thou, Gehazi. And he said, Thy master went no weather. And he said, Thy servant went no weather. And he said unto him, Went not my heart with thee? When the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee, is it a time to receive money, to receive garments, to receive olive to receive vineyard, to, to receive sheep, to receive oxen, to receive man servants, to receive meat servants. Then 25, where we are going. The leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed. I want you to mark that place. And unto thy seed forever. And he went out from the praise presence. A leper as white as now let me just give you a little bit story there is this man called Neman very wealthy man he's a ruler he had leprosy and he has gone everywhere to receive no solution then suddenly he, his mate told him about a great prophet in the in the land and the prophet's name is Elijah. So, she, so he traveled from others that came and Elijah, no, I'm not trying to summarize it. Elijah said, go to the Virginia and bath seven times, come out and you'll be made whole. He did it and he obeyed and he was made whole. Now the man came with gift to give to Elijah. Elijah said, don't worry, go with your gift. Now as the man was going, Elijah's servant Gehazi went to the back and collected the gift. Elijah, when he came in, Elijah said, Oh, you have got to collect this gift. Now, the leprosy of that name man that was healed will enter into your body. If Elijah had said that, you know, end of discussion, okay. But he said, No, the leprosy of name man shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. Now, the question is this What did the seed? Of Gehazi do. What did the seed of Gehazi do that the seed will begin to suffer for what they don't know about? They will begin to suffer for the sins of their father. So many people are suffering what their parents, they are, they are harvesting what their parents have sown. There are so many people because your father has worshipped idols and now the cause that follows idols is now running after you. There are many people your mother have done so many terrible things in the past and now it's affecting you. It did not happen. Today marks the end. Look at Imagine if the, the, the children of Gehazi they are still alive. They just say, 
دي احنا بنعمل اصلا كتير سؤال كده سيدنا نعم ان 27 دي لا بروسيديا فور اوف نيمان شال كليف اونتو دي ان اونتو داي سيد فور ايفر وندرفول فور ايفر ذات دي ويل بي ستروجلينج ويت ات فروم فروم جينيريشن تو جينيريشن Today shall be liberated. I'm going to come later. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to prophesy to you that affliction that you have inherited from your parents, that problem inherited, shall disappear in Jesus' name. So let us listen to some of the things that are just in life of people. Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Zochinere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on the hill. Um, the message today that Daddy preached today is all about me. <laughs> My testimony goes like this. In my father's house and my mother's house, there is chronic and complicated marriage covenant. <coughs> I came to open when my life was pushed beyond it. In my mother's house, there is chronic poverty, chronic divorce, and Touch and die project. Touch and my mother, as a woman, has done all manner of business a woman can do, but cannot last for a month. In my father's house, we have intelligent, very, very intelligent graduates. When they graduate, they end up looking for a job and end up being an important businessman. Oh, no job. As I'm talking to you, we still have a PhD graduate in the early 80s looking for a job. graduate, I'm telling you, did not have this PhD in Nigeria. He graduated all the way from the United States. And in my father's house, anywhere this link goes to, either the man or woman will end up in a polygamous home or be a polygamous person and all their children must line up jobless. Whether in another village or in my village or another country. I went to school and I graduated 2003 after training myself, reading all night and couldn't find a job. So I said, okay, let me go into business. As soon as I went into business, because I couldn't find a job, all the business ended in the police station. There is something I know how to do best, academics. So I decided to read. Fortunately, I got a scholarship and I went to England and to study. I read and patterned my books. I know that within those that one year, the least I slept was 12 and 1 midnight. After my MSc graduation, I decided to look for a job. The first job I got was a telephone interview from Australia for me, and I passed the interview. They contacted every necessary referees, and I was to be admitted to Australia for a job. As soon as that came to uh, materialize, that was the end of that. Central 
companies, I have had several successful companies in the United I'm mean, sorry, several successful interviews in the United Kingdom. And but the one that baffles me, I have a white friend that had his father is a professor and owns a company in the United Kingdom. This boy introduced me to his mother and his father, and I discussed with them, and they said, bring the interview and start very soon. After that discussion, that was the end. I was tired and I said, okay, I need to maintain myself in this United Kingdom so that God will help, I will get a job. Because all my friends, even the dummy that I taught in the class, has gotten a job. And everybody was ending there saying, oh, love is sorry, that is not fair for everybody. Jobs keep on, love keep on. The second job I got was as a shop assistant. And as a shop assistant, my brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed because I'm testifying to the glory of God. Um, as a shop assistant, the person that owns this shop is not a graduate, and he was selling African food. And I was selling African food for the man. My classmate we call, Lucky, I'm coming. You are our bad home market today. I say, you go go Saturday. Which way did you go buy? You go buy a kind of um, Okay, keep up for me, grip fish for me, keep all those things for me. And when they come into the place, some of them will bring some of their friends and say, Come, boy, I have interviewed so and so today. So I hear you assisted the other person. Can I come to your house so that you can pull me down through the interview process so that I can go for the interview? I said, Okay, come. I was tired of my life and I decided to fly back to Nigeria because. I already have an intention to go for a PhD, but I know deep down in me that even if I went for that interview, I mean sorry, for that PhD, I will not get a job. So I decided to fly to Nigeria. When I got to Nigeria, I've had when I got to Nigeria, I've had several successful interviews too, from United Nations, several oil companies. But, oh, the, but the one that struck me was one of these multinational oil companies that they invited me for interview after the crowd of you know uh, interview first interview second interview the third interview was just to familiarize myself with the line manager they needed two person and the two person emerged and i went to Lagos, reaching the line manager the manager told me oh you are the best candidate gave me this compliment card immediately after then, that was it. So the I also contact the managers that were present. The managers said they contacted the white man. The white man said he's not comfortable with my face. <laughs> this is your weakness. So I was tired. I spoke to some people. All this while, I married and some the the, the, the feeding asked me how it was my mother-in-law that was sending food after coming back from Obodoibo. <laughs> so I my sister now directed me to Opium. I came to Opium. And when I came to Opium, I sat down there and was weeping. How the where did this church hide all these years? Last three um comes with the go. Then he said, have you done the assignment, the water spirit I gave to you? I said, hey, I have finished it, but I'm still here. He looked at me and said, okay, I know what to do. Give him the remains from the wicked powers of your mother's soul. So I was still waiting because I, really, I never expected that assignment. And he gave me the assignment. So I went, I jumped okay, I went. As soon as I, collect, I collected that assignment, I was always seeing myself in my mother's village. Trekking. In my father's village, I was always driving bicycle. So I continued the assignment and the attack multiplied. All of the study, my money got finished, everything got finished, and the last three weeks, I just called my wife and called my little baby that was always asking me, where when am I going to school, daddy? And I said, I called him, I said, look, money has finished now. I don't know how we are going to eat in September. And look, my wife, you just have to 
let's think about what to do now, no money at all. So I was just I mean, I told myself I prayed and I said, anything I have whether the shoe or anything, I will not sell it to feed at all. So I have to call Daddy because I was still on that, on that I mean in the assignment and several attacks were going on. Daddy was praying for me. That night that I prayed. As soon as I finished discussing with my wife, 8.30, I received a call from Ghana. 8.30 p.m., I received a call from Ghana and said, are you available? Say yes. They said, um, we have attached the interview, your interview performance in your last interview last year to a manager. Now, there is a training going on tomorrow. I said, so soon, are you available? Say yes. Go to the gate, tell them you are appearing for that training. And as soon as I went to the gate, I went to the gate, the following morning, the training started. And today, I'm glad to say that that thing that Marie Spirit in my father's house has said, and Marie Spirit in my mother's house has come point to say, I will never open the door to an office. That no person in that language has opened the door. I have broken it. relatives in London that are not doing well? Do your relatives in London find it difficult to get their resident permit? Have your relatives lived in London with nothing to show for it? Are they living in London but receiving attacks from Nigeria? Are your relatives in London single for too long? Are your relatives in London buried? Are your relatives in London sick? Have they not received salvation? Today, Dr. Jesus has remembered them as OPM opens a new branch in London. Date, Saturday 1st October 2011. Time 3 p.m. Sunday 2nd October 2011 Time 8 a.m. Prompt Venue OPM London Branch 29 Penach Centre Penach Street Beside Millennium College London For inquiries please call 009-447-882-671-200 Dr. Jesus, their stories must change Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibu Zochinere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill. Ah! Ah,
Things happening. It's a land of total restoration. I was afflicted. When I came to OPM, I was healed. My lifestyle has changed. I woke up and prayed. God has been so wonderful. God removed my supervisor and made me her supervisor. So good, so it's wonderful. God is using him mightily. Great man of God. He's a wonderful man of God. He's a man of God from God himself. He's the Jesus of this generation. Oh, yeah, this is a real. It's a thing of seeing. It's not about hearing. Just come and see what God is doing in God of yesterday to be still forever. This is the place God is working. Excited. Look at the testimonies. Look at the mind blowing testimonies. If God can do it for these people, your own case is nothing. If God can do it for these people, then your own case is a small thing for you. He can change your situation. Dr. Jesus can change your story today. He loves you. And that is why He sent this message. You are watching this telecast today. It's not my mistake. I'm going to pray for you. And whatever problem you've inherited will disappear. But before we go, I just want to show you one or two things. There are some books written by the general of here. We have the day you were born. Mysteries surrounding the birth of many. Many people's problems can be traced down to the day they were born. You get this book, your story is going to change totally. Then we have 500 acidic prayer. This is a Holy Spirit vomited prayer point. It has transformed many families. In fact, it's, it must have for every family. We have volume one. Volume one sold so many copies, so we have to go into volume two because of the the the, the breadth of the, the, the purchase. Now we have another one: deliverance of firstborn. So many firstborn have been turned to lastborn. Many heads are now retained. Many seniors have been junior. This must stop. The head must be the head. The head can no longer be retained. They have other journals, other small minor journals. You get these books, you get all these things, and God is going to use it to transform your life. I want to pray for you. Just lay out on your screen. Father, I bless your children in the name of the Father. I disconnect you from the bondage in your father's house, from the bondage of your family in the name of Jesus. You see, this kind of deliverance needs some fasting and praying. And I'm going to give them, uh, and you're going to come so that I can pass you through the deliverance. Once you do pass through that deliverance process, that yoke was break. It doesn't matter how long it has been there. Once you pass through that deliverance process, that yoke was break. Now the question is, how do I pass through this deliverance? 
You need to come and see me. Or call the number on the phone, on the, on the screen. Come to Omega Power Ministries International at the headquarters. Come and then I'm going to give you some prayer assignment. I'm going to give you an assignment you will do. After you pass through that dinner session, it is over. Your story will just change totally. How do I look at the place? It's by a news as if you are going to the airport. If you are coming from Air Force Junction, once you enter any taxi, say I'm going to OPM Church. Any taxi. And that Air Force by Happy Bite they will bring you. Or if you at a news by ABC Transport, you get a taxi to bring you. Or by uh, Rumokoro Roundabout, you get a taxi, say you're going to OPM, they will bring you. You come there and you're not. Your story will change. There's no impossibility with God. Only get connected to the right source. Once you get connected to the right source, that affliction will disappear. God loves you. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye -bye. You can find the following knowledge materials written by Apostle Chichi Buzochinyere, General Overseer OPM Worldwide. The book, Deliverance for Firstborn. The day you were born, mysteries surrounding the birth of many. Dr. Jesus, OPM Monthly Journal. Every day with Dr. Jesus, a daily devotional, 500 acidic prayer storms, and acts of God in OPM. For prayers and counseling, call or text the following numbers 0803 3385 or 0805 5625748 or visit our website on www.opmworldwide.com Call you.